Uh, we have watched this stock and this entire sector just move around so much, especially in, in the past couple of weeks. And we've seen both issues in Washington driving it, but maybe even more so folks on Reddit. As somebody running a company um, that's watching this stock and seeing what's happening online, what are you thinking? First and foremost, <clears throat> thanks for having us. You know, when I see this, you know, I, you know, it's really not core to what we're looking for the business. I think what's important is the fundamentals of the cannabis business are very strong. We get a really good quarter. You know, year over year revenue was up, adjusted EBITDA was up, our cash use was much better, and, uh, you know, our cash on hand. And so while there's a lot of volatility in the market, a lot of conjecture, I think the macro picture, you know, is quite strong. We had five states pass comprehensive legislation. There's obviously movement afoot in Virginia and New York. We're now, you know, receiving revenue in over 13 countries around the world. And so while there is a lot of, you know, retail investor interest and Reddit uh, interest and short squeezes going on, I think long term, that's not going to be the story of cannabis. I think the long term story of cannabis is that it's going to be a good business economically. And there's a lot of upside both domestically, you know, in the U.S. as well as around the world. But Miguel, as a CEO, and I think a lot of a lot of CEOs may confront this, which is how do you think about your shareholder base, right? A, a lot of CEOs would say that you know they're looking for long-term shareholders who are in this based on fundamentals, based on numbers, based on perhaps even a relationship, if you will. What you're seeing now is something else, and I'm trying to figure out, and I think a lot of CEOs are trying to figure out how to grapple and maneuver around that or with it. Well, I think it's a great question. You know, clearly the cannabis stocks have had a long history of a strong retail base. And, and you mentioned the short percentage of our stock. I think, you know, you want to do the best thing you can for shareholders, whether those are retail investors or long term institutional investors. We've started to see a good movement of institutional interest in the cannabis stocks. I mean, it's only been two years that the rec business has been legal in Canada um, and the medical business is still nascent around the world. And so I think all you can do as a CEO is focus on free cash flow, being even a positive, building a strong company that's sustainable. And while there'll always be this type of volatility, I think, in the short term, I think long term, you know, as this industry starts to mature, people will focus on fundamentals. And I think the fundamentals of a company like Aurora, particularly as we look towards the U.S., science, compliance, a long history of being successful in many markets, positions its well for a variety of different investors. But, but do you imagine yourself as a CEO spending more time in the future uh, with institutional investors? Or do you imagine yourself even taking to either Twitter or Reddit or other places to have a different type of communication? So we're clearly doing both. So we've had increased conversations with institutional investors. I think they're more and more comfortable, um, whether it's the maturity of the space, the core fundamentals, the global aspects of it, the upside. You know, we're seeing that both in the U.S. around the world. And also, you know, as communication evolves, clearly we have to do more, um, you know, with the retail investors and other investors. And whether that's through Twitter, um, our own, you know, communication methods or other forms of social media, it is important. This is a category that's moving really quickly. And getting the news out there about how profitable it can be, how strong the margins are, the innovation we see around the category, both on the medical and rec business, is important. So I think you have to take advantage of all of those. At the end of the day, though, when you have medical margins in the high 60s and you have more and more countries passing comprehensive, thoughtful uh, regulations and the U.S. getting closer, both at the state and the federal level, I think there's a great story here. And we'll communicate in a variety of different ways. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.